All right, welcome back for another episode. As promised at the end of the last one, um, we're going to continue on with the story mode that I promised and tried to get to on the last episode, but it kind of got out of hand and took a lot longer than anticipated. So in this episode, we are going to continue on the main storyline now of going down to the ravine and finding the Kanari Dragon Slayer to help us slay the Blight Dragons from the two gods that got released when we interrupted Solus's uh ritual so yeah short and sweet make it easy for y'all to get on board so without further ado if my my name is sig if you are new around here thank you thank you for checking out and stopping by if you're returning welcome back as always i do greatly appreciate new and returning viewers uh we are on a mission to play the entire dra entire dragon age velgar game as a blind playthrough, which if you're new to what blind playthroughs are, very easy. It's in the name. I have not seen anybody else play this game. I'm not looking up how-tos. I'm not looking up any guides, tutorials, uh, any sneak peeks on Google or any other website. I am playing this purely based upon um, how it leads me and the information and knowledge I have on the entire Dragon Age series from the, the uh, very first game to the latest Inquisition game in between so you will see i will be just randomly going off on some little side uh, side paths and it's gonna be like what the fuck is he doing i am looking for treasure dragon age developers have a way to hide treasures in the most enough uh in the most inconspicuous spots and then they have some where they are like really hitting you gotta look for it so that's what you're gonna kind of see me stumble upon I'm not looking anything up. I'm not doing anything to find it. I am simply playing the game. And if I find it, I find it. If I don't, I don't. Very simple. So let's hop into this. I hope you enjoy it. As always, the purpose of this channel and all my channels is to give everybody, give all the adults a break from adulting, be able to decompress, relax, and just zen out, for lack of better words, and enjoy some gameplay. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll be back at the end to do a little recap a little hashing out of what's what happened and what's to come in the next episode so see you at the very end i hope you enjoy this episode of dragon age Villacar. let's get after y'all all right so we literally just finished up the quest the side quest um so that is what happened and that's what we are currently doing um so i'm just gonna tweak my character a little bit and see see what we can do to beef him up a bit if needed have a net rogue weapon. Alright, and we're gonna go back to I don't know why I got out of that, I apologize. We are gonna go back to Lighthouse just for a quick second. I gotta I gotta see if there's anybody I need to run past. There are timed interactions. Times our times in there. So, this icon right here means it's a timed interaction. So, if I were to leave and never like come back here, I could be missing out on this. I it's a limited time, so we're gonna go talk to her really quick and then continue on with the story.
Did I see you writing a message to the Inquisition? What's that about? You know, Varric and I were part of the Inquisition, right? I'm trying to get news about the South. But Charter hasn't replied to any of my messages. I'm trying not to worry about what's happening there, but... No, it's probably fine. Charter's just busy. She's always busy. Charter? Who's that? She's the Inquisition's spy master. Or she would be, if there was still an Inquisition. I suppose she just works for the Inquisitor now? I haven't heard much about the Inquisition in years. Oh, that's intentional. When the breach was open, we needed a large group to stop Southern Thetis from falling into chaos. It's changed in the years since. We're a smaller force working underground to keep an eye on things going on in the world. Why isn't she here? We could use a hand. Charter entrusted the search for Solus to Varric, to us. The world's large, and she's got many things to deal with. So, how long were you with the Inquisition? Ten years? Something like that. Why? You must know the Inquisitor. Well, yeah. We worked together. I wasn't part of the Inquisitor's inner circle, though. I spent more time with the ordinary people, the ones you didn't hear about. So tell me about these ordinary Inquisition members I haven't heard about. The Inquisition hired hundreds, and most of them weren't Magisters or Ben Hasrith or the left hand of the Divine. There were scouts and stable hands, carpenters and cooks and quartermasters, even two dedicated pastry chefs. Most of them volunteered, like me. We wanted to help in whatever small way we could. It wasn't as bad where I was, but I remember the demon spitting sky holes. Nothing like demon spitting sky holes to bring people together, huh? I made friends. Rector, Faulkner, others. Rector, Faulkner? Liliana gave all her agents pseudonyms. Right. Like Charter. Well, Charter's Charter, but when the other two and I were together, we were just Lace, Wilbur, and Katya. But you did know people from the Inquisitor's inner circle, didn't you? I knew them, sure. But those early days, all I wanted was to prove myself and not get in anyone's way. Some of them were more approachable than others. <laughs> Sarah was a puppy with a new toy. A hundred new toys. Fun, if you can handle the mess. She was really the only one who could make Rainier, well, Blackwall then, let down his guard. Otherwise, he kept to himself and stuck to the stables. We'd talk when I visited the horses. And there was Cole, of course. The spirit boy? Yep. I was just sitting on the walls one day, and he asked if he could join my game. Like a card game? Nah. Just good old people watching. Must have seemed like a game to him somehow. We'd pick strangers out of the crowd and try to say something about them. Like, ooh, she heard the joke yesterday and she's still trying not to laugh. Or one of Cole's. His eyes remind her of the ones beneath her bed. Who stores eyes under their bed? I'm partial to a nice wall display myself. Well, that's one interpretation that never occurred to me. Thanks. You're welcome. Wasn't Cole an empath? He must have been great at this game. Ah, but the rule was you couldn't say anything you actually knew. He got it in the end. I think. So you didn't ask him if you guessed right? Well, being right wasn't the point. Making a habit of seeing people was. I think he liked that. It's why you don't miss. And the Inquisitor's advisors? What about them? Hmm. Of all of them, I'd say Josephine is my favorite. She's lovely. She still sends me a box of handmade sweets from Val Royaux every year on my name day. Cullen and I got along too, but he was always busy. He would have bad days from lyrium withdrawal sometimes. 
And I would share the tea that my ma sent. He's from Ferelden too. Maybe it reminded him of home. What about Liliana? I heard she's... intense. <laughs> I think she likes to cultivate that reputation. She's not nearly as terrifying as she sounds. Oh, I passed her in the Great Hall one day, and she suddenly turned and asked me if I wanted a nug. <laughs> a nug? Those small pink rodent things? What for? Oh, <laughs> she loved them and made a hobby of breeding them as pets. So, did you take the nug? No! <laughs> what am I gonna do with a nug? Do you miss it? The Inquisition, I mean. It's hard to miss an organization. They're only as good as their people, don't you think? But I do miss my friends. We write each other, but it's not the same. And the Inquisition is different from what we've built here. Not better or worse, just... different. It's special when you're among people working toward the same goal. Not everyone. There was Solus. What did you really think of him, back then? Lonely. He always seemed lonely. It's hard not to be when you hold yourself above everyone else. He might be lonely, but I doubt he cares. He's single-minded. Nothing else matters besides his crusade. Because it's the only thing he's had. My ma used to say, a caged dog forgets there's grass outside. Anyway, I'm sure something out there's on fire, and here I am rambling about the past. I should let you go. Talk later? Hi, I'm Rook. I'm very much hoping you're Tosh. Yeah. Nice to meet you. The Lords want to hit a cave on the coastal cliffs. Big Vincimer makes her lair there. We get her out, the Lords get in, we go home and get drunk. Might be more on Tom. <laughs> Don't get in my way. I've got a good feeling about her. So what's the plan exactly? We need to lure the Vincimer out of her lair. I set bait. She comes out to eat. My partners loot the lair while she's out here. We'll find the bait on the beach. You said the dragon we're dealing with was a Vincimer. Yeah. Blue with a yellow belly. Breathes lightning. Lightning? Well, that's dramatic. We're not fighting her. Lords just want the horde in her lair. On Tom ahead. Be ready. They go hard. Heads off! Remaining! Watch yourself. They have Gatlock cannons. <laughs> Eat shit! This is not your land! Oh, <laughs> 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 
So, you've got no problem fighting other Kunari. I'm from Ravain. Not like I follow the Kune. You've got the arm ropes. Sure. I wear a lot of stuff. You don't get to tell me who I am. Doesn't matter anyway. The Antom don't follow the Kune either. Not anymore. The job with us. What made you want to take it? I don't. I thought you wanted us here to help you. No. We're not fighting the dragon? No. Vinsimers eat big game, usually sea life. They're not hostile unless you do something stupid. Like poke around in its lair? Right. So we lure her out, then the lords go in and grab anything shiny. But you do kill dragons, right? You're a dragon hunter. I kill them when they need killing. This one doesn't. All right, beach is up ahead. Right. You said we'd find Bade here? Bade'll find us. Come on. No, I don't like the sound of that. Deep stalkers, watch out! Knew they'd find us. So the deep stalkers are the bait? Yup. If that's what works. Quite a few of them. Dragons have big stomachs. <laughs> Is it just me, or is that one meaner than the rest? That's their pack leader. Take her down! My job, sir. Your turn. Come <laughs> on. 
I think that's the last of them. Now what? Now I get the fire going and make our dragon dinner. Good. She'll like it. And this potion will put her to sleep for a few hours. But we gotta get her attention. Use the horn up there. Come on, she'll be here soon. So we held up our end of the bargain? You did okay. So what do y'all do? Right now, we're trying to take down evil god monsters and their blighted dragons. What? That can't be right. Dragons don't get blighted. They're smart enough to avoid that crap. However it's happening, the gods are using the blight to force dragons to attack people. That's messed up. Somebody needs to stop them. Headed. That old Grey Warden fort. Anton might be there. I want to see what they're doing. If it's anything the Lords of Fortune need to worry about. She responds to people blowing a horn. This time. You've left food for her before. Took a while to get her used to it. It sounds like you've got her trained. You train a dog. You reach an understanding with a dragon. Consumers are clumsy on land. Better in the water. They cut the surface like a knife. They swim? They dive down after prey like a giant bird. Sometimes they stun schools of fish with their lightning. Gulp them all down in a single bite. Those side scrolls. Uh, it's, well, it seems like maybe the way sometimes this is just collecting more. They can actually help you depending upon like which segment of the quest you're on or how far along you are. Uh, sometimes the scrolls give you backstory to background. Well, that was close. Letting us know she sees us might also be her way of saying thanks for the food. And it also often open up storylines maybe aren't normally there unless you have those scrolls so i like collecting them if you if you want to skip them that's fine play how you play but it's always good to get a little bit of backstory <sighs>
Someone put a lot of work into these fortifications. Why'd they leave? This used to be a big Grey Warden outpost. They left after the Darkspawn stopped coming. sure what these are supposed to be. I think they're for the... probably for the... theirs. I'm trying to figure out or just move on. Yeah, let's figure this out really quick. You typically have to face a certain direction. Here we go. Right, left, back. Alright, see? Very easy. Side quest. Let's do it. No, I did not know that was there. I just assumed. Well, that one's already in the right position. Look at that. I stumble upon shit all the time. Well, now you know. Did not look up a tutorial or anything for that, but traditionally, if you've ever played a Dragon Age game before, you know they keep the answers fairly close near where the puzzle is. So the Antama are here. Let's check inside the fort. I want to see what they're doing. Made it Let's through. Let's keep looking. 
So the Antom took over the outpost after the Grey War. Wardens abandoned it? Yeah. Ravane and the Canari were at peace forever. Then the Antom broke away from the Kune and invaded. But Canari builders are part of a different caste. They didn't break away. So the Antom take over old forts like this instead of building their own. Grapples, nets, the Antom are going after the Vincimer. But the dragon can handle that. Not after I drugged her. Come on. They've been watching. They knew I drug her to make her sleep. Assholes! Eyes open. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Docking ready. to that treasure chest yet to be on top of the castle. But I don't know how to get there just yet. seen us yet we can run hey I brought her down she's mine by right <laughs> Makara Mara Namra Benari Ebala Atash Martarost Asitarala Kyuto Tarala. Come on! The punch is free fire! Come <laughs> on. 
So, you breathed fire. Yeah. Can't say I was expecting that. Were we supposed to know this? Because I don't remember you mentioning it. We can talk later. Let me know when you're ready. I'll burn the chains off the dragon. What will she think of us when we free her? Hopefully she'll just fly off. Hopefully. Should I cross my fingers? As one dragon flew off, now safe to finish its nap, uninterrupted, another was about to wake up. The surviving Antam poachers carried news of a fire-breathing Kunari back to their leader. Tosh and the team would soon find themselves being hunted by the Dragon King. Wonderfully done, Tash. While you played with the big scary dragon, we looted the shiny stuff from her cave. So, Rook, Varric's talked about you. I see he wasn't making shit up this time. They call me Isabella, among other things. What did you find in the cave? A lot of dragon shit, gold, some fancy trinkets, and this. It almost looks like a rune. Does it do anything? Shit, I hope not. It conveys knowledge. While not as impressive as a magical explosion, it can still change the world. Rook, this is Shathan. She's our expert on Canari artifacts. This piece predates the Steel Age by centuries. It comes from an earlier attempt at settlement. One that left no survivors. You used your fire. What? No. Were you seen by the Antam? You promised you would be careful, Evatosh. You need to be away for a while. It is good you are joining Rook's team. I'm what? We expect some dragon trouble, so we need a dragon hunter. You'll feel right at home. Hooray. Our contact here said you'd agreed to join us. Didn't Shathan... I thought you and your mother had agreed on this. Nope. Whoops. Well, you'll work it out. You always do. For gold and glory, Tosh. You're welcome back whenever. Rook, pleasure doing business with you. Mother, what did you do? I thought you would enjoy the chance to work with Rook's team. Do you not wish to stop these blighted dragons? Of course I do. I might have decided to join on my own. Maybe after you talk to me. I talked to you about not using your fire in front of the Antam. I will prepare potions for you to take. Would you prefer ginger or lavender? <sighs> the ginger. Hassam Vinek. Rook, you will keep her safe. Your mother doesn't mince words. I like that. Yeah, she's a lot. Anyway, welcome to the team. Might not be what you wanted, but we could really use the help. I'll get my stuff. Hey. It is. Sorry? Joining your team. It is what I wanted. Glad to hear it.
Alrighty. That is the end of this episode. Um, next episode that you'll want to kind of stay tuned for is going to be working on a part of the companions. Another companion episode where we um, dive more back into their back, or we dive more into their backstory to get to know the character better. We're also going to try to work on some more parts of this uh, Dreadwolf portion, uh, which is Regrets the Dreadwolf. Solus, who's uh, in the Fade right now, we see him when we meditate and we talk to him. And then we're also going to have. We're also going to have an episode where. We're going to continue on with the main story plot, uh, which is called Signs and Importance. And that's going to be where the team at, uh, the team enters a mysterious Grand Necropolis to recruit Fade Expert Emrich. Uh, but evil mages have their own plans. So that's going to be one where we dive more into my character's backstory, who is uh, Warn Watchers. And we're going to dive to my character's history a little bit so stay tuned for that and the best way to do it is of course to hit that like and subscribe button and then turn the bell icon on so you get notified when i post new episodes for this saga and uh, i'm trying to get this all done within like a month too so i think we're almost a quarter i think we may be halfway through if not a quarter of the way through i don't think we're that far honestly but We'll see. It's it's hard to tell how far along we are without me going research the the information, uh, which defeats the purpose of blind playthrough. So I feel like maybe we're a quarter, if not closer to half. But we'll see. So stay tuned for more as we find out more about our companions, more about the Dread Wolf himself, Solus, who's been in all the video games, and he's what ties them all together. And then of course find out more about my history at or my character's history as we recruit a fate expert so without further ado thanks so much for tuning in hanging out and chilling with us today i do greatly appreciate it if you enjoy this type of content again like and subscribe completely free if there are games or story modes that you want or you would like to see the whole story played out uh, or you think have a really nice story let me know down below in the comments and of course go check out the description of this in every video to find out more about what's to come and what to expect from this channel such as our partnerships with shellshock and eclipse.gg so go check it out all the links are listed down below but until next time everyone take care stay safe stay healthy and have a wonderful rest of your day thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next episode take care <laughs>